Welcome back to another rig review for Animation Buffet and today we're going to take a look at this Spider-Verse rig. If you go onto my Animation Buffet site, you have the post and again, I'm posting all kinds of rigs on there. So scroll down and look for other rigs that might be a good fit for your project. But in here, you will have all the details in terms of who did this, the credits. Thank you very much for Jerva and Yanin for doing this, for rigging and modeling. It looks awesome. And especially here, you're going to have all the instructions of how to install the rig. So go through these and download link is also right here. It goes into a Google Drive location. And there it is. So when you open it up, this is how it looks. And funny enough, usually, I don't know why, I check legs first and I was slightly confused because I was grabbing this and moving the leg around and then this happens, right? It's like, hmm, that's an interesting IK setup, but it's not. Usually feed come in IK, but in this case, they all come in FK. So up here, you have the picker for all kinds of things. So when I choose the leg, then you can change here the IK FK blends and you can see the difference. And now that goes into a proper IK leg. There are lots of controls on this rig in general. So you have a lot of feet control. Is that a word? Feet control. This is cool too because you have the foot roll built in like this, but obviously also available through channels. You have separate controls here for all kinds of deformations that go this way and this way. And it's very interesting because then you can really start uh, to deform things like that. I also like this. Imagine you have, if I go to my drawing tool here, <laughs> you have, you're on the edge. You're on the edge of a building. Then you can go down here and then imagine, like I said, there's the edge of the building. Like stuff like that is really neat without doing all kinds of crazy counter rotations and counter animation. That's pretty cool. Then it goes further on here with controls like this. Again, this could be also really cool if your character is on the pipe. I don't know why it would be on a pipe. With Spider-Man, he is always somewhere. I mean, standing on something. I think that's really interesting. So that is for your legs. You got your pole vector, of course. And here at the same time, you can see somewhat of the same setup if you do FK. You have all those controls. Everything is the same here, but on top of regular uh, FK controls that go like this including on this side where you have deformations like that. So if we, for whatever reason, your character is doing this, well, this is what you could do with it. Can I rotate like that? Look at that. Ooh, it has a side pivot like this, which is actually really cool. You also don't have to turn where the pivot is in the middle. A lot of times in rigs, you have the pivot here. So you're gonna have to rotate and then translate over to give it this feel. So this is actually pretty cool that you can just rotate like that. Let's go back. Now here are a lot of controls for the middle section. So you have your pelvis control. <laughs> this is kind of funny. I am dancing. This is because it's IKFK, but you have your pelvis controls here and there's always a stretchy function. And what's cool about that too is that there's an automatic volume change, so to speak. So sometimes you stretch and the whole character is gonna move straight down and it's the same scale but if you stretch something you're gonna have a change of volume and the interesting thing is that you have a squash and stretch built in now you might go well I don't want this I just want a regular you know pull for the shape then you have this so you have the extra control of the brakes once you go up here but that is very very handy the outer control is the root the root gives you all kinds of controls a classic thing then you have the classic spine controls they are like that here and you have all kinds there rotate in all kinds of ways and on top of that you have this extra controller here let me go in so i can select it there you go so with this you have rotations like that and then a translate forward so if you don't want to do everything using these controls which you can still use this is still like an extra control you can use it like that i'm a massive fan of that because there i say this is somewhat our setup at work you don't have to worry about all kinds of uh, controls where you end up sometimes with something that's twisted this way, but then this one is twisted less, but then this one is twisted more, and then you forgot about it, then you get weird shapes, and it's sometimes not the easiest setup. But this, I love this. And again, you have a stretchy thing. This is me after I eat pizza and I walk around and go, ooh, I think I ate too much and I gotta pretend. <laughs> 
And then on top of that, you have this controller here. This is your spine position where you can still do a little bit of fine tuning. It doesn't quite rotate the same as the other one. It's interesting where you might have different usage for this. To be honest, I'm not sure what the main usage of that is. I'm not too familiar. I should ask the creator, but if I move this over like that, and then you have this here, you still have some sort of influence on this. And this is also here, you can see the channel in one rotation, giving you uh, a pivot point from here. So I can go over here and then the whole thing pivots from there. It's an interesting extra uh, usage for that control there. Then you can go into shoulders and they're big enough so you can see them. Sometimes when you move shoulders around, they get hidden, um, but you won't see them from the back. So this could be something that you could potentially uh, with points. So if I do this, obviously it's not going to work, but if I do control vertex and I just wanted to turn vertex on so I can make that controller bigger. And then what happened is that controller disappeared. That's an interesting thing. I'm going to leave this on and not cut this so that when you do this, you see what happens. Well, sometimes you turn these on and then you can scale up your controllers so that they're a bit more visible. So you kind of tweak your rig. For some reason, these are gone. Comments are open if you want to let me know if this is a weird 2018 bug, um, but now they are gone. Let me reload the rig so they are back. And I reloaded it, here we are, and the controllers are back. It's very strange. So, But I'm not going to cut this out. If anybody has any information about this, that would be cool to know. I'm very curious. So here you have a pose like this. Now, if I select anything up here, you can see that you have all kinds of spine controls in terms of the stretch, the softness, a lock, the tangents, uh, side plan. There's all kinds of stuff also for the neck, which is really cool. So don't forget that you have all those options up here. I was specifically curious about a shoulder function where if I move this, that it also moves the clavicle down, basically an auto clavicle function, but it doesn't seem to have one. If I select the chest, it's mostly chest stuff. And then in here, that's the same. That's all the same. You have arms, and then you have legs. Again, they get you the, the scale, the stretch. There's all kinds of stuff to do here, which is cool, including a ghost leg. You have a ghost leg potentially for uh, multiple limbs. That's interesting. There's an arm ghost. So all of these have ghosts. But I'm going to continue here. You have, this was interesting. So you have a neck control down here and you still have one up here and at the very end, one up here. And when you take the head, one more. You have a lot of options to move that head around. Again, this is very cool for posing and line of action and silhouette and all kinds of stuff. Um, but something else to look out for if you don't want to get entangled into too many controls. I'm usually used to a control at the base and then usually a control at the top. But it's always good to have multiple controls. And again, they move out in all kinds of ways here. So you can really shape your pose, which is cool. But don't forget that this can be sometimes not so confusing, but there's a lot to have. You have a, an additional neck control here that gives you something like this, where it feels more like an IK setup. Um, but it's not a stretchy one. This gives you... So if you want slight adjustments on your head action here, your head animation, that's kind of neat. And you have the same thing here where you can control the halves, right? So you have one here and then there's one here. This is all very cool for the formations and squash and stretch potentially. And this goes into two controllers too. So it's very detailed, a ton of detail stuff. It's very interesting. If I select this here, there's nothing else. Now what I don't see, and if I do this here, there's a head smear. The head smear is this. So we just talked about here when you have for smear control, deformation, squash and stretch, all that good stuff. But what I'm not seeing, if you select this here or if you select all these all the way down, including the one in the back, there is no local world switching option. So meaning that if I turn this around, the head stays like that. There's nothing where the head counters automatically. So if I do this, it would stay like that. A lot of rigs have that. Personally, to be honest, I'm not a fan of these because a lot of times I need to critique uh, poses or changes in, in the animation where if a character does this, the head always unnaturally stays 
locked in something like this, where whatever you do, the head is never doing any natural rotations in it. I mean, it's good to have for some things, obviously, it's always good to have more control, but be careful when you do animate that you don't want to forget that the head is moving in all kinds of directions and counters. So if even if you do let's take the, uh, the root here and you do this, right, if you do a big root movement, then you're going to have some sort of counter rotation and compensation on the head. And it's not always going to be extremely accurate in terms of this is vertical and always staying like that typical IK fashion, you're going to have some sort of offset in the head, just a little bit of side rants in terms of uh, animation here um, and that is it for up there you have your arm controls like i said and then you have your switcher so i'm going to switch over and go up here and then you have your arms and then you have if i select these you have your ik fk blend which gives you different controllers left and right which you can see here so you have your classic ik handle if i can select this there you go so you have this here and you have your whole vector uh, you can also do it here in the channels. You have your bendy options to change things. And at the same time, when you go up here, you also have extra visibility on. So if you feel like I need to tweak more, I need to have better control over silhouette all the way up to the somewhat shoulder region there, right? So if you need something that's a bit more like this, then you can see you have all those options. It's very cool. Looking at the fingers, you have that looks like a palm cupping function yes it is which is cool i'm assuming you can probably stretch this <laughs> yes so if you need to clean the outside and lots of leaves on the ground spider-man has a rake function uh then you have obviously in here there's the wrist options but you have the top control here which usually I control most of these but you have uh, through here but you have the top control every now and then for certain post changes what I don't see on here is extra controls for spreading so if you have anything where you need a quick fist or your fingers out like this it's going to be all manual a lot of times wrist control options here which I'm trying to find I don't see anything here this is your inner thumb control there's nothing here and if i go in here arm options gives me ikfk blend roll stretch slide softness all that good stuff if i switch this to more tweak controls i still don't see anything in here and this is not going to give me any fingers so be warned that if you want some quick spreading or fist options uh on hands it's not there now speaking of fists you can select all of these and roll them in that seems pretty good in terms of how far you can go in terms of deformations here. You can do all kinds of things here. It might also be interesting if you had, uh, you know, in here, you would have options for, you know, spread face, all kinds of things. That could be the spidey hands. That could be an automatic spidey hand pose, which funny enough is in here. Um, so that could be something. I do like this, that you have this symbol here. I know, it's a simple thing, but I love that stuff. Um, the other thing that's missing, which is a bummer, is that even though it doesn't have a mouth, right, technically, I would love to see a jaw function. Because you can still do lip sync where it's not technically the lips are moving, but you could have jaw movements where it pretends, right? So you can kind of pretend to mouth something. So I would love to see something in the jaw. And also eyes, given that this is such a big feature, in the movies that the character can squint, there's nothing that I could see that gives you a scaling option of the eyes. I'm looking here in all of these. I didn't see anything and I didn't see anything up here either. There's your head smear. I don't see anything in the eyes. It's something else I'm gonna contact the rigger about. They're awesome people. So I'm sure they're gonna do all kinds of tweaks for future updates. Interesting thing too on the arm. So you have this controller. So I wanna move this out. It still leaves you with the controller here that does something else, including the stretch. So I guess maybe you have multiple controls where, what if I bring this back and I use the inner one that takes the whole thing. So maybe that would be your primary IK control, but within that you can constrain it somewhere, but within that constraint, you still have the built-in option to move your arm a little bit. I'm curious if that's the option but i don't know i should know 
but this is a first look review <laughs> and you will get my very uninformed opinions on this rig but that's about it i think these are all the controllers that i could see i think this is a very very interesting and cool setup here lots of options lots of bendy options and also since that character is flying around then you might want to use a more center of gravity option here you have root options right or root options is more like an all control or cog or whatever you want to call this depending on the company or rig but what you can do technically is if you take one of the inner ones and you bring it all the way down you can see that the other ones are not moving so now if this is my somewhat center of gravity you can take this node and now this is moving like that where it's almost what we call a fly con spoiler don't fire me but at work we call this a fly con and if this was a ship or whatever it is or i don't know whatever your center of gravity for whatever reason uh, that would be here and again you can change this and then go all the way down here and this could be your setup so for whatever reason if you need to pivot the head from here uh, you could i'm a big fan that this is optional there in this rig because you never know this always comes in handy all right i think that is it as always comments are open if i missed something which i probably did let me know you can add comments and you can clarify things but upon first opening and viewing of this rig but i'm also interested in doing those uh somewhat untested look at rigs in terms of um intuitive setup this is what i see right off the bat but there may be some other things that i missed which are not as obvious so i will always do uh, follow-ups through the comments and descriptions if there's anything or if there's a major update i can always do a second update for the rig but for now this is it it looks like it's a fantastically built and set up rig for awesome spider-verse animation i see already some cool examples online so there you go grab it link in the description for all the details where you can download this and have fun with it and see you in my next clip